Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about how we can add a texture on top of an image in Photoshop. So let's take a look at how we can do that. First I'm going to come up to the word File, and then down to Place Embedded. I'm going to then navigate to a place in my computer where I have some textures, and I'm going to choose one, and say Place. When you place a texture, the advantage is that when you resize it, you won't lose any quality. So here I am uh, just making it larger so that it fits the whole size of my picture. And then hit enter. Once it's placed, the next thing I want to do is head over to my blend modes. And then I want to try out each different blend mode. All I have to do to do this is just click on blend modes and then just scroll through each one and you'll see how it changes until I find one that works. You'll typically find in most cases overlay and soft light tend to work very well. So in this case I'm going to choose soft light. You'll notice that the texture went over the model. Let's add a mask and remove it from some places on her face. So I'm going to use uh, a mask and then I'm going to choose a, a paintbrush and I'm going to paint in black. And I'm going to set my opacity to about 70% and I mostly want it off of her face but I want, I'm going to take some off of all of her, about 70 percent of it off of all of her. Alright and there you have it. Now the nice thing about this is you can put as many layers as you want. So if I want to add another one I can just do file a place again. Let's say this time I'm going to choose this one with the bokeballs and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to make it larger and then hit enter. This time I'm going to try out some different ones. I think darken or multiply could work just fine for this and the easy one though is overlay or soft light. I think overlay and I could leave it with the two textures on together and it creates an interesting effect. I could mask out some more of it from here. I could even turn off this bottom texture and just use the bokeh layer all on its own. It makes some creative and interesting effects when you play with these different textures and I think it's something you should try. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps. And if you really want more information about how to use Photoshop, I have a beginner's course linked down below.